So here we are, we're gonna quickly cut this and we're gonna solder this together. We're gonna to show you how easy this is. This is a great little tool that I have. And now soldering is a nice event that everybody and anybody can use. Now, of course, you can buy these things pre-done and with the heat shrink and all that, the copper all done in. Uh, I, you're welcome to it. But I mean, this is the most cost efficient way to get the job done and the best way to get the job done. So when you do it this way, you're gonna get the most out of what you're doing. So here we have some heat shrink. We're gonna actually cut ourselves a piece off of there. Make sure you cut as much as you can put onto the actual product. It's just better that way because occasionally this stuff shrinks a little bit when you're applying it and uh, you have to turn it back. But in this case, it should be long enough and it's big enough. Uh, we don't want it too big that it doesn't shrink and we don't want it too small that it gets all binded up in case something happens. So there you go. Make sure you put your shrink tube on. now. There's a bunch of different ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the way that you just slide these two wires together because these are good flexible wires. We're going to point those together, push them in until they reach that point. Reach that point. So that's all we're going for. So we're going to, we're going to start here, fingers together, bring those two together, just mesh them up, let them get in each other's way. Now, once you do that, then you basically give the left side a little bit of a twist, try and get it to go. So you're going to lock it in place and then you do the same thing on the opposite side. So this way it becomes a nice solid mass and it works better. Bend the wire if you need to in any way, shape or form to make sure that it holds the actual size. Afterwards, I don't care, right? You can do whatever you want with it, but we need it to hold its shape. So we're gonna do that. So a lot of times you're gonna be doing this, you're gonna be doing it in a car. So find yourself a good, proper, comfortable position to actually do the actual soldering. And the soldering part is not complicated. This is a soldering pen. It can come with a cord straight off of it. Mine happens to be set up this way because I do a lot of work in the studio. I'm just gonna get some on here. I need to clean this off a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that. Good wet sponge helps. Again, I'm gonna get some on here. Why? Because when I make contact here, if I already have some actual solder on there, it's easier for everything to melt. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of transfer heat here, get the actual solder to melt on the pen first, and then it'll, it'll actually dry in across. And look at that, it's just going straight into everywhere. I'm gonna make sure and get everything to the left and right done. Make sure I coat it. Now I can't see underneath until I'm actually done. So the more I do here, and the idea is if you see it drawing across left to right and it starts to get shiny, then you know it is completely saturated the actual product through and through. So there you go. Let's take a look, see at the other side. And if it's not done, that's okay. We'll, we'll touch it up if we have to. But no, the other side, this, this time looks really, really good. So there you go. So we're gonna actually wait, hold back on the shrink just until it cools down a little bit here. Now the idea is I know it's like, oh, I wanna get that done. I wanna get that done. Now this will get on top of there. Uh, but if I bring it in too fast, which is what I've been trying to do, uh, what'll happen is, is that the actual solder is so hot, it'll actually start shrinking. So it's cooled at a touch. So I should be able to just work this over here now. Now I can actually bring my blower in there, blow on that, and that'll be all done. That's, that's a finished job. That's ready to go. So again, there's the solder underneath all the way around. Nice and clean and clear. It's gone through solid mass. And it's stronger than the wire and everything else. So, I mean, I'm not afraid of this doing a really, really good job. And there you go. Now, the only reason you'd want to do something where you made it longer, and I'll show you, make it longer and lock it together, uh, is because you're trying to solder it under tension. So, if you're if you're worried about soldering something and it's under tension because, you know, the wires are getting really short and there's, they're really pulling tight in a car space, but a lot of times on a harness you would have that problem, right? So, you can either cut back a little further add a whole new piece of wire. So if you're doing it, something in the car, don't try and always, oh, I'm gonna, I gotta get these two wires to fit and they just, just get there. Well, sometimes you need to, you know, cut back a little bit, add a whole like six inches of wire in. Now, if you wanted to do something where you were gonna lock them together, well, first you gotta tighten everything up, get that good and going here, just like that. And I'm gonna lock these together. Again, if I'm, if I have to put them under tension before I actually solder them. So I'm gonna X them first, right in the middle, okay. And then I'm going to, roll this guy around twice at least just like that then i'm going to roll this guy around at least twice and i'm just trying to get that all to come together what i'm doing is i'm creating a tight now you can go more and more but this is going to give me something so this way the two wires are now under tension and if they were pulling on each other or in this case there's a lot of bend in the wire this is going to do a really, really good job. And yes, I don't have shrink tube on here. I don't need to put one. I just really want to show you how this is going to look when it's done. But now these two are twisted together. That's a good solid mass as well. And now I just need to solder it all up. So what are we going to do? Let's slide this guy in here again. Again, I can use whichever the 0.8 
or the 1.6 which is twice as much and the flux is in the wire i'm using this guy here just because it is wire and it is easier to just use the heavier stuff but if you have the regular stuff you're fine so again i put a little bit on the pen to get the pen get a nice little ball of solder on the pen that's going to help transfer up the heat and again i'm going to go right across letting the actual solder melt in the actual wire itself let the wire take the actual solder so and there we go once you start it takes a while sometimes to get it all going so i'm going to move back and forth a little bit get this whole thing going just like that and now it's really really comfortable with what's going on there and there you go so we should have good coverage because i appear to be having extra pile up you don't need extra so you you know you, it just makes a mess look at both sides you should have some good even coverage not you can just actually smooth it out because it will draw across and there you go that's that's solid now again that solder job is stronger than the wire around it. it's twice as thick plus it's got solder on it i mean that is a permanently locked down product this is not going to come loose if you're doing a car audio job if you're working under the hood or under the dash this is going to be a permanent permanent job that won't come apart and it won't you know cause any issues so there you go especially if you're charging somebody for a job you want to do a good job that's the way to do it if you're doing this at home uh good for you you're doing an awesome job and there you go that's how you solder it's not complicated it's not rocket science anybody can do it at home with any type of soldering equipment just have a little patience you'll be fine thanks for watching see you next time bye for now